So we're back in the garage today. I fixed the vice as you can see, all nicely cleaned up. So we can start doing our project. First project is a bench hook. A bench hook sits against the bench or sits in your vice. And it helps you safely cross cut timber. Okay, the one I've made is for left and right handed people. So here we go. So just to run through the kit we need, we've got a pencil, a folding rule, a combination square, we've got a panel saw and a tenon saw, we've got a claw hammer and a nail punch, some pins, some sandpaper and some glue. And I've also got my safety specs there as well. The timber I needed, I've got some 9mm ply that I found in the garage and then just a small piece of plain timber. So we're going to start making out our piece of ply. Um, the piece of ply I found was um, 250 long so I'm going to keep it at that. I'm just going to whip it down to 180mm in width. And I'll get my combination square. Combination square can slide up and down. So I'll put that on there, nice and tight along the edge, and square along there. Nice clean line there. So now I'm going to rip that down with my panel saw. Now, when holding a panel saw, always have it nice and sturdy in your hand with that finger there, and it makes it real stable. So, that bit's done. I'm just going to clean it with a bit of sandpaper now to get any rough edges off it. So the next step is to mark and cut our pieces of timber that go on the ply. So we're going to cut these to 150mm in length. So, again, I hold that on the edge and mark to 150mm. Next important bit that we use quite a lot moving forward is a facing edge mark. So we just mark these as a reference point. These show where the square is going to go. So you can see the most square is nice and tight against my edge mark. And the square is my face mark. Okay, so that allows the line to go all the way around consistently. So then we need to cut this. So now we've got our timber marked out, we're going to use our tenon saw to cross cut it. So a bit like the panel saw, we hold it nice and securely with that finger there. Again, we're pushing the timber against the bench. When we've got a bench hook, you'd be able to use a bench hook, but for now we're using the edge of the bench. And again, we'll, I'll guide it with my thermal finger just to start off. When you feel happy that you've got a bit, you can start to start to start. We'll just clean up the end grain a little bit with a bit of sandpaper. Okay, so now we've got the timber cut, we're going to secure it to the ply. So we're going to use our small pins and we're going to pin through the ply into the timber. So it looks nice and neat, we're going to mark out where the pins are going to go. So I'm going to come in 20mm in from either side of the piece of timber. And then I'll put one in the middle. And then we'll come 15mm down. And then I'll just put a nice neat cross so I know where the pin's going. So I'm going to start nailing in a minute, so I'm just going to put my safety specs on. And we're just going to put a small bead of glue along our piece of timber. 
and then sit the bit of ply on, nicely run along that edge and nicely against that edge. And then you get your, your pins, put them in across. You don't hit any fingers, so you start it off and then move your hand out of the way, securely holding it. And then do the one down here. Again, make sure it's nice on the edge of the timber and then move your hand out of the way. And then we use a nail punch. Nail punch will just punch the nail just below the surface so you don't catch your hand on it. So now that one's on, we're going to do the same with that one and then that one will be fixed just there. So we follow exactly the same process for this one on this one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, here's the finished bench rod. We can now safely cross cut timber. We'll be using this on the basic joints we're going to make on the next few videos. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter and ask us any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. All the best. Thank you.